In today's video, we will uncover the truth behind Lisa's seemingly perfect life and all of the challenges she had to face to get where she is right now. From her living in a dorm infected with roaches to getting $1 million stolen from her and facing threats that could ruin her life, this is a story about one of the most successful female idols in K-pop history, The Chosen One. Before we get into the real truth about Lisa's life, let's talk about her beginnings for a bit because they are straight up magical. Prior to our Thai princess being known as Lisa, her birth name used to be Prompriya. She later went to a fortune teller who suggested she changed her name to Lalisa, which means praised. Apparently, this change would bring Lisa a lot of prosperity and success. Knowing where she is right now, it seems like it worked more than well. As an only child, Lisa was raised in Thailand by her Thai mother and her Swiss stepfather. A fun fact about her stepfather is that he's actually a renowned chef. Lisa had started her dancing classes when she was just four years old and competed in various dancing competitions all throughout her childhood. All of her hard work and time put into dancing paid off once Lisa auditioned for YG Entertainment in 2010. No one knew that even though this decision would send a lot of fortune her way, Lisa would also have to face some terrible things later in life. She was only 13 years old when she auditioned, and amongst 4,000 applicants, she was the only one that got in. She actually ranked first in the competition and landed herself in a spot in YG Entertainment. She became the label's first non-ethically Korean trainee in 2011. When Lisa began her trainee period, it seems like a whole new world opened up in front of her. Although Lisa was just a trainee at the time, her talent and charisma was absolutely off the charts, and she appeared in different music videos and as a backup dancer for other YG artists, but Lisa's life would change pretty quick. Tough Beginnings Lisa became a trainee when she was 14 years old. When she moved to Seoul, she was basically still a child. Korean wasn't her native language, so we can only imagine how difficult it had to be for her to adapt. At first, Lisa was as happy as one could be because she was about to start chasing her dreams, but that would soon fade away as she spent more and more time away from her parents and her home country. Lisa shared that the first three months were the worst. She had often felt overwhelmed and homesickness, and she called her mom many times and simply cried during the whole call. Since Lisa didn't know the Korean language that well, she had to face big challenges while talking to people. Not only that, but the young girl also had troubles understanding the people around her, which only made her beginnings harder. What absolutely breaks my heart is the fact that other trainees weren't allowed to speak English to Lisa because YG wanted her to improve as quickly as possible. The miserable times passed eventually, and it was all because of the other members of Blackpink, which eventually became Lisa's second family. Even though Lisa gained love and support from her now best friends, her trainee days just got more and more challenging. At their old dorm, Lisa became a knight in shining armor. In the Blackpink YouTube show 24365 with Blackpink, the girls revealed the incredibly poor conditions they had to live in before they debuted. Since the members didn't have a lot of money, their living conditions were far from ideal. Their door once got infected with insects and cockroaches, and it was Lisa who was brave enough to kill these bugs and get rid of them. Despite Lisa adapting her life in Korea and overcoming some of the challenges, her life still wasn't like the one in fairy tales. When Lisa was a guest on the show Youth With You 3, a vocal mentor asked everyone what they were doing when they were 18 years old. And Lisa's answer shocked everyone. Without filter, Lisa answered the question honestly, saying that she was stuck in the basement of the company. And no, it wasn't because she was held hostage. It was all because she was practicing to become her perfect self so she could debut with Blackpink. The endless circle of practicing, rehearsals, and evaluations put a lot of doubt in Lisa, and she started to question herself and her capabilities. Knowing that her future was unclear at that time was what Lisa found the most difficult. She didn't know when exactly she was going to debut, and it got so bad that Lisa wondered if she should just go back to school in Thailand. But Lisa stayed determined and practiced even harder, giving it her absolute all. After five years of not knowing if she would ever debut, the day finally came and Blackpink was introduced to the world. Yet, even if Lisa now had what she so badly wanted, some dark moments were waiting for this precious angel. The Dark Side of Fame Blackpink seemingly skyrocketed towards fame, and they quickly became one of the most popular girl groups in South Korea. Slowly, their fame and influence started to slip into other countries as well, until the girls became a global phenomenon. Naturally, Blackpink had received a lot of love from millions of people, and with love comes hate. It seemed like Lisa couldn't catch a break. Although the love outweighed the hate, some people still had incredibly nasty things to say about her. Ever since their debut, remarks were made about her ethnicity and nationality. A lot of people couldn't process that Lisa wasn't Korean. She wasn't considered to be the Korean standard, and people couldn't stop being mean to her. It got so bad that another idol had to speak about the hate Lisa was receiving, and it was none other than the Thai prince, Got Seven's Bam Bam. He's known Lisa for years, way before they both debuted, so it was heartwarming to see him stand up for his friends. 
trend. The hate started when Blackpink appeared at the 33rd Golden Disc Awards. Lisa was then a target of hurtful comments as people shamed her visuals and her background. One person wrote, With makeup on, she totally looks like a Russian elf, but with darker hair and no makeup, she looks like any average Thai woman. It was just one comment in the sea of many, and it understandably angered Lisa's fans. When asked about it, Bam Bam went on to explain that it's unfortunately normal for Thai idols to face similar hate, and that he himself had to go through that too. Which is just heartbreaking to think about. These comments came especially from Korean netizens. Looks like it's hard for them to understand that a foreigner can become one of the most successful entertainers in Korea. And they hate to see it. To add fuel to the fire, it's not only random accounts on the internet who seem to hold something against Lisa. Blinks have noticed that ever since Blackpink's debut, Lisa has also been given the worst outfits out of all of them. Seriously, some of the things she wore were questionable. People speculate that this is because the company simply prefers other members, and some people blame it on just bad coincidences. Whatever it is, we cannot deny that this has been happening for years now and something should be done about it. As life goes on, oftentimes the one that hurts you the most are the people closest to you, and Lisa definitely has to say something about this. Life gave her a taste of what it's like to be betrayed by someone you trust. In 2020, Lisa had to deal with what could be considered a real nightmare. Her now ex-manager, who had a close relationship with the band since 2016, did Lisa dirty in the worst way possible. The former manager scammed the singer out of $820,000. He took advantage of Lisa's trust and used the money for his own benefit once she asked him to invest her money in real estate. And that's far from all. 2020 was actually the year when things seemed to spiral down for Lisa. Just a few months prior to the scandal with her manager, Lisa became a target of hurtful threats by an account on Twitter. The situation became so concerning that Blinks even contacted Thai Embassy in Seoul to take protective measures. The person targeted Lisa and claimed that as soon as Blackpink made their comeback, they will physically harm Lisa no matter what. This caused a lot of disturbance in the fandom and Blinks became rightfully scared for the singer's well-being. What also angered them is that the company was the last one to know someone was putting Lisa in danger. It was the embassy who had to contact the company. Thankfully, no physical harm was done to Lisa, but surely it had to leave the Thai princess pretty traumatized. Despite her life being full of highs and lows, Lisa is one strong woman and she continues to influence the world with her kindness and her love for what she does. Because of this, she was able to completely change the K-pop game, but also change the lives of many of their fans. She rules the world. Insane talent in dancing and rap and her beautiful visuals aren't the only amazing traits of Lisa. She is still down to earth despite living the life many people dream of. In 2019, when a monsoon flooded over 32 provinces in Thailand, Lisa offered a helping hand and donated around $3,000 to a fund to help those who had to evacuate due to the flooding. When Lisa landed herself her first solo magazine cover for Harper's Bazaar in Thailand, all of the 120,000 copies were sold out and it was still highly demanded even after that. This just shows how strong her impact is. Lisa was also asked to be a mentor on numerous survival shows, especially Youth With You season 2 and 3. Here we can see a completely different side of Lisa. She took up the role of a leader and a role model as she wasn't afraid to give her criticism but also was very open to motivate the ones competing. Due to this, Lisa was highly praised for how greatly she handled the role of a leader and people especially appreciated the boost in the dancers' confidence after Lisa gave them positive feedback. But in some moments, Lisa transformed into a completely different person and her facial expressions gave it all away. When the dancers did a wrong move, Lisa didn't hesitate to stand up and show them how to do it properly. She gained a lot of respect as a mentor because her persona was really professional and sometimes even strict. Seriously, she had no mercy with these dancers. What a boss. Lisa's endorsements and brand deals are on a whole new level. This girl is collecting them like Pokemon cards. From being the brand presenter for the Samsung Galaxy S10 in Thailand, Lisa worked hard all the way to the top and became the first K-pop idol to take up a role of Mac's new global brand ambassador. She became the global ambassador of Celine, a really popular French luxury brand, after she's been continuously seen wearing the brand's clothing or attending their fashion shows. Furthermore, Lisa also became the ambassador for another luxury brand, this time Bulgari. We could go on and on about Lisa's endorsements but it would take us days to name them all. That's how influential she is. As of April 2021, Lisa became the most followed K-pop idol ever on Instagram. She recently surpassed over 50 million followers, and that just proved that she's more than just an ordinary girl from Thailand. She is an actual superstar. If there's one thing we are beyond excited about, it's Lisa's possible first solo comeback, which is rumored to happen in June. And I already know that it's going to be absolutely epic. I seriously can't wait to see what she has in store for us. That's it guys. Let us know in the comments what are your predictions of Lisa's comeback. Thank you for watching. Bye!